Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about how to get backgrounds. I'm going to be basically breaking down where I find a lot of these stock images for my backgrounds that I use for a lot of the templates that I give you guys on like various videos. I'm also going to be showing you guys kind of like how I get a lot of the effects and like a lot of the things that I do add to make them better. I'm going to be showing you guys some other cool things with Pixlr that is a little bit new to their 2021 updates. So make sure to like this video if you find it helpful at all. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. I'm not going to waste any time let's go ahead and just jump into today's video All right, so first things first, I do apologize. During the last tutorial, the audio was messed up and it was only coming out of like one, it was only recording like one audio channel. So I'm sorry about that, but I did fix it in this video. So hopefully it's better. What we're gonna talk about first is we're gonna talk about this new thing that they added to Pixlr where you guys can open like PSD documents and you guys can also save Pixlr documents as well now. So if you guys don't know what a PSD is, it's basically a Photoshop document. And basically I have a folder of them right here, but you guys can see if I open it, it's gonna have a bunch of different Photoshop files right here. And this is a little file icon for it as well. Now I'm assuming that a lot of you guys don't have Photoshop therefore you guys aren't able to open like photoshop graphics packs at all if you can find them on youtube a lot of creators do make free graphics packs for their fans or subscribers and 99 percent of the time they are psd documents because most of them do use adobe photoshop which you do end up having to pay for but pixlr added it so you guys can now open a certain amount of Photoshop documents. And we're gonna be showing you guys how to do that because it's not complicated, but there are some things that just aren't how they should be. Or they just don't, it doesn't work how it should. But I will explain that to you guys when we get there. But basically, if you guys give YouTube a browse, for an example here, as you guys can see, I can just type in background pack GFX and it gives me a ton of options here. And as you guys can obviously see here, most of them are actually Photoshop uh, PSD files or PSD packs. So if you guys end up downloading one, all you have to do is end up going to back to Pixlr here and then you're just going to click the open image right here and I'm going to give you guys an example I have a G Fuel pack render all you have to do is double click it and then it will kind of stutter a little bit mine's not going to take entirely too long as you guys can see it's kind of already popping up so while it waits depending on how large the file size is it's going to take longer for Pixlr to actually load it up since Pixlr is just kind of like a browser based GFX software if that makes any sense and as you guys can see I have literally everything in here now this is really cool because as I can see if I hide the top two layers I have all of these renders of different like energy drinks. Now, if I go all the way down here, you guys can see I have some G Fuel ones as well. As you guys can see, these are really, really high quality. Like we got some tubs here. I think I used this a long time ago when I used to like upload G Fuel reviews on the channel. But we have tons of these. And basically, this is the same concept. You guys can open pretty much any Photoshop document. Now, there is one catch to it, unfortunately. So if I close out of this and I go to open image, I have, for example, this flux pack right here. As you guys can see, the size size is just significantly larger than this pack. Now, if I go ahead and double click this one, which I'm not going to do because it's going to glitch out, it's basically just going to keep loading and it's basically just going to take forever to open. I have a pretty decent PC and it takes a lot of oomph for it to open. So maybe if you guys have a better PC, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys can get you know some larger graphics packs to work. But for me, I had to go through on YouTube and kind of just find like smaller sized graphics packs in order to kind of open them because as you kind of get larger, it just takes longer and longer to open and then it gets to the point where it just doesn't even open at all. And I honestly really don't think there's anything for Pixlr to do on their side of things that can fix that since it is like a browser-based graphics thing as I kind of mentioned before. But basically, yeah, that's where I get a lot of kind of like these stock images. Now I'll show you guys here. This is actually one of these stock images, the purple stock images that I got from one of those packs. Now the key thing about using stock stock images and things like that is that obviously like you didn't make the image yourself so if you're going to want to use it or you're going to want to sell it you're going to want to do anything with it realistically you're going to want to put your own spin on it this background was almost completely like just black and it had a couple things on it but as you can see i added a lot of like the lightning behind it i added this lens flare as well on the left i added a lot of this stuff down below and that's kind of how i'm able to do it now if we take a look at this yellow one that i made this isn't the final version as i haven't really released a video for this one yet this one's just kind of like an early version the gun isn't quite 
coming through but the point of this is that this like blue background back here i actually got that from a photoshop background kind of like render pack as well and all i did was kind of take that image and cut it in half and then kind of put that background behind that right side and on that note i will go ahead and show you guys kind of how to kind of extract the layers from the document that you guys do open so say if i wanted to go down here and i wanted this sour pixel one so first of all there's a background behind it so i kind of want to make sure i get rid of that i'm going to scroll all the way up i'm going to go and see which one's checked looks like all these background ones are checked uncheck these and as you guys can see it's now a png so all i need to do is click file i'm gonna click save and i'm gonna go to png and i'm just gonna do purple g fuel and i'm just gonna make sure it's a png so it's transparent i'm gonna click download then as you guys can see you have your image right here and it's really good and really high quality as well now whenever you're in a project say i go to a different pixlr one and i just open up a random one i can just click layer and i can go to add image as layer and then we can just go ahead and just find that one that we just downloaded so i'm going to click it right here and as you guys can see it's now in your project and then all you have to do is kind of shape it however you want now you're going to have to do this process you are have to repeat it for each individual layer that you do want from the graphics pack so it is a little bit tedious i'd say so that's kind of like the brief overview of being able to make them from like a stock image and be able to alter it now i do make a lot of them a lot of them that i do give out for free as you guys can see here i do make those with just like the tools and everything like that on pixlr e so i can't really show you guys in this video how i make them from scratch but if you guys do want to watch i believe this one is a tutorial and a template so I do go in this video like in detail on how I kind of like made a lot of the boxes and how, how I kind of made a lot of the icons as well. For me, it is all about the font choice. So a lot of these are just characters that I put on the background. It's very simple, honestly. It all just depends on what type of font you're using, what kind of like aesthetic you're going for. And here I'm, I'm almost going for like a simple glitch theme. If you guys want to see a video of me going super in detail on how to use a lot of the tools and stuff in Pixlr and I kind of make something for yourself, make sure to go ahead and first like this video. Second, make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below letting me know and if you guys have any specific questions if i didn't clarify something enough make sure to go ahead and leave that in the comment section down below as well again i appreciate you guys for watching today's video i will catch you guys in the next video on the channel peace